Hey everybody, it's Andy, a.k.a. Max Writer. After our exploration, I decided that we would get on to putting some walls around that village that we just found. So we're on our way there right now. Unfortunately, it's noon. Uh, I also had to put out a few fires up north because, quite frankly, they were burning. And they were burning down uh, quite a bit. Of, a few forests burned down, but we'll see how we handle that. Anyway, once we get to... The village has been named Wickwold. It lies on the edge of the Witch Fens. And, um, I've named it that. I will, uh, give us some more. I'll come, I'll be back once we get there. We're gonna put walls up around it today. There she is! The tiny village of Wickwold. One of Mordor's newest colonies. And I've been here again to light up, make sure it was completely lit up. What the heck? Whoa, what are you guys doing all the way out here? Oh, that's really bad. All right, so we have a bed set up. We also have got, we got plenty of dirt right now in case I have to do any terraforming and lots of walls. So I'm gonna grab some of each and we'll probably quick make it day and then start with, and even though we're putting walls up mainly today, we're also gonna be trying to fix the village up a little bit. As you can see, I've already got some dogs here. And we'll throw this in, throw this in, this, this. Take a couple, take three walls. Uh, it's too late in the day to really get started. Very much. Why are those villagers out? Idiots. You're going to die. And what I think I'm going to do is stick with, I think we're going to stick with, having Wickwold where we can up just a little bit. So the walls are going to kind of... hopefully be up. Some of them won't be. We'll figure it out. Alright, we're going to build up some of this land here at least and try to make it give this village a little bit more... make it a little flatter actually. So that the wall, when it comes in, will be kind of nice. And it looks like we're going to have, we're going to raise this up. Leave it. This village is a mess. We got to fix it. here yet, but the wall Okay, it is a new day. Whew. Worked all of the yesterday in putting walls up and now I'm checking them out real quick. We also need to mow. There are lots of caves directly underneath that I had to kind of fiddle with. Right here, this breaks right through to caves. But for the moment, we're going to go around and just check to make sure that we have... I think all the villagers are in. There were two of them out of bounds, and I got them in. And now I need to light up the area. There's a little bit of room to grow. And I need to get down some fence gates. But otherwise, I think the village is fairly safe. I don't like that hill right there, but deal with it. Next we need to work on roads. I was I barely had enough wall to be quite honest. Roads, entrances and exits and just general cleaning up of the area and then we might do some caving under under Wickwold. Wickwold Baldrick. No, one is still out. Son of a Get in. How did you get out? Were you already out? Get in. So, work is proceeding apace. I'm wondering if I should put a ditch around this place. Kind of increase the, um, protective value, you know? I'm thinking about it. Um, I've not done that with any of my other villages. The Wickwold is kind of on the, the, it's way out in the middle of nowhere here. Uh, we're pretty far south. And a ditch, just a two by two ditch, too deep, too wide, might be just the thing. So I'm thinking about it. So far, so good. Wickwold is coming along nicely. Where did you come from? I think I am going to do a ditch around it, though. We're in the middle of nowhere. It's 
kind of dangerous out here in the wilderness, and a nice defensive ditch around the village would probably help. In a couple of places, it just means like this, widening, deepening that. I'm not going to make you guys watch. Hopefully, I'm going to find some stone at the same time. However, I think before we do try to do the ditch, we're going to go a little bit down into this cave and at least light it up a wee, a wee bit. Oh my gosh, I don't think I can get down there. But I have to light before we do the ditch because it's going to bust right into this mess here. So, and I don't want that. See, look at this. And we're going to start with it just two wide and one deep, I guess. And then probably deepen it to two deep all the way around. Because I'm a big believer in safety. All right, we have a defensive line around the town. We've got a pit of sorts that follows the contours of something like that. Uh, here's a couple little things that I need to do something with. I'm not sure what yet. Um, we might do some kind of little bridges with using what are they called? Shutters on this side, the village is just high enough up. Even though I probably, oh, I forgot to go. I went down into the cave a little bit, and I got out enough that it went in deep enough that I could light it so that it wouldn't be an issue. It's gonna be a heck of a jump right there. I don't think I can make this jump. I can't even run. What's wrong? Ah, no, I can't make that jump. All right, let's figure out. I got to get over there and get that stuff. Oh, shit. Before it despawns. So that gives the village a slightly, slightly more defense. Gosh, inventory is full already. Uh, I'm gonna finish up these roads, and we're gonna wrap up this episode. And it's probably a little short, but that's okay. My shovels are all about to break. We're going to add some. We got some cobblestone, which is good, so we can make some steps in order to kind of fix this place up. And then we will be done. Hey, guy, I'm going to put a door there eventually. Oh, wait. These are done, too. Uh oh. Let's see how long this. Um... Ow! Oh. It keeps screwing up. So I cleared the caves under here. Went ahead and just just cleared them. Just got them clear. They are now clear, and we're getting out of here before it gets dark. Here these guys. And I could probably grab these sheep, and we can seal these caves up because there's absolutely nothing of value left inside. Come back here, sheep. Come on. Let's get out of here. Let's get you out of here before it gets dark. Do I have dirt on me? I have enough. I have any. Yeah, I do. Fantastic. So. I can actually pick those up too. And boom, there'll be a, there, there's our little marker. So, um, yeah, I think we're done for the moment. I will eventually add a magic door room, probably right in this area. Or maybe closer to the center of town. Maybe up here. Probably in this area, actually. And we still got to do some modifications here with some wood and kind of make that look nicer. But otherwise, the village is finished. Actually, we're going to finish that before we end this episode. So I'll be right back. Okay, I think we're done. I hope this hasn't been muted the whole time. It hasn't. Hooray! So we've expanded this area a little bit. What I probably should do is just run. That's growing up. Good, good, good. Um, I still need to get more wood for this place because we're going to need doors at some point. Do I have, did I have a sandbag up here? I did. Let's plant that up there. We expanded the village a little bit. I don't know if anybody saw or not. But up here I went ahead and took over this hillside. That'll work there. We got some trees growing. Crops are still good. There are 
Numerous villagers. We're probably going to put in a magic door room at some point. We have the ditch that goes that runs around, except for in these spots, which I still haven't done anything with that. But we'll figure something out. And probably we'll do something similar here um, at the entrances or something. I'm not sure yet. Uh, is that all I wanted to show you guys? I think that's it. Hey, thanks for watching, everybody. As always, I appreciate it. And I will talk to you all next time. Thank you.